The Carolina Hurricanes have no plan. What is going on here? Goaltender Antti Ranta has been placed on waivers and everybody is confused. Now, if you take a look at the stats, you could see that Antti Ranta, who is definitely in like the latter stages of his career, Take a look at this, 34 years old, not the biggest goaltender in the world, 6 feet, 194, signed till the end of this season, making $1.5 million a year. We all kind of recognize the career that Ranta has had. He started out in 2013-14. He was a rookie with Chicago. He was good with Chicago. Eventually, he bounced around New York, Arizona, and he was pretty all right for the most part with the Arizona Coyotes, 930 goaltender in 2017-18. That's a really good stat line, not gonna lie. Even last year, with the Carolina Hurricanes, the guy had a 9-10 save percentage. This year, though, he's at an 8-5-4, 3-6-1 goals against average in 14 games with the Hurricanes. He's not looking great. The rest of the goaltending for the Hurricanes is not looking great. And this guy was placed on waivers. Now, you might be thinking, okay, well, that's fine, right? There's, like, a goaltender coming back. Freddie Anderson is here. Cut Kachov, you could go with this tandem. But the problem with that is that Freddie Anderson is not available. And we've already heard multiple times that he is not going to be useful to the Hurricanes. He's still recovering. So, Andy Ranta, who is technically the second goaltender on the team right now, gets placed on waivers. And what? What's happening here? The Hurricanes goaltending hasn't been great this season. As we had said, the best goaltender, Freddie Anderson, has an 894 save percentage and a 287 goals against. Now, the goals against is not the worst thing in the world. The save percentage kind of is. Kotchachov has an 890 and a 278 goals against average in 14 games, too. So nobody really on the Carolina Hurricanes has been pulling their weight in net. If you take a look at Ranta and his game log, the last game he played was the 6-5 overtime loss against the Nashville Predators. He let in 6 goals on 24 shots against in this game, and then you have yourselves the Vancouver game. This is where the Elias Pettersson show really came to play. That was a week ago, and Ranta let in 4 goals in 24 shots against 8-3-3 save percentage. The guy hasn't had a game over a 9-10 save percentage in a month. Last time it was Saturday, November 18th against the Pittsburgh Penguins where he made 26 saves on 28 shots against. That was the last time the guy had an actually all right save percentage. It's been a while since Antti Ranta has been good, quote unquote, and many Hurricanes fans will tell you that he hasn't been good this season. But what is the plan here? You don't have any extra goaltending support. You need two goalies on your roster. If we go over to the comment section on our hockey, we've got a really interesting discussion going on from the fans of the sport that are interested in learning what's happening here. First comment on the anti ranta is on waivers post. Better start learning to speak Edmonton, buddy. We don't want him. He's cooked. Now, of course, the idea here being implied is that the Oilers would take a swing and claim anti ranta but interestingly enough, hey, Stuart Skinner's been all right. Calvin Pickard, he's been pretty okay, too. Jack Campbell is the overpaid guy down there in the AHL. I don't know if anti ranta is really the solution, but hey, if they claim him, that would be very interesting to see. Here is a perspective from a Carolina Hurricanes fan right afterwards. I'll be honest, I have no idea what our plan is here. We've got to be in on someone, right? There's no available goaltender in our system that can hold the spot, and Freddy isn't close to being back. It's really unlike Don to not have a plan before doing this. Then there is a discussion going on about whether or not a trade is in the works. Do you think Jake Allen makes sense for the Hurricanes? Good vet to play with the young lad, and the Habs would probably retain to get a mid-round pick. It's probably... Somebody that they're kicking the tires on, just not sure they can afford to get a vet like Allen to hold down the fort. They need a long-term option unless they think Kochachov is it, and I don't think the front office thinks that. So, even Hurricanes fans don't really know what's going on here. 
here's a bigger discussion as to how this is going. Are you guys just rolling with Kachachov for now? Yeah, but you need more than one NHL goalie on a roster. We don't have another goalie in the system, and you need at least two in your active roster. The only other netminers we have under contract are Freddie Anderson, who may never play again, and Yaniv Perez, who is currently the 1B for the Norfolk Admirals of the ECHL. Carolina does not have goaltending, literally, and they sent one of their only guys on the roster down on waivers. Here's an update from Pierre Lebrun, as written about in the comments section. Pierre Lebrun says, There's nothing imminent, but I can't imagine something isn't in the works. They actively cannot play Ranta at the moment because of how bad he is, and we don't have any other options beside Perez in the ECHL, which I highly doubt gets called up. I can't imagine Ranta doesn't clear, but would expect a Band-Aid goalie trade like Mrazek will happen just to have someone who isn't tanking games behind Kochachov, who is also an occasional risk at tanking games, lol. And then you've got the Canadians fans, please take Jake Allen, the Wings fans are saying, hey, please take Reimer, no take backsies. I can't tell if that means no take backs of Reimer since he used to play there or that you don't want me to take back that request. By all means, take him for a third and save my eyes. So there are some fans of teams that are running the three goaltender system that are kind of saying, hey, just take our guy, take our guy, because we have too many goalies. You guys don't have any. I didn't even know this kind of move was legal when you consider the ramifications of Freddie Anderson not being available, even though he's not technically listed as IR in Elite Prospects. That's really interesting. How do we... Let's go to Cap Friendly. How does that look on their website here? So if we go over to the Carolina Hurricanes and we see their goaltending, yeah, Freddie Anderson's on the IR. Like, he's not active. So I don't know what Elite Prospects has got going on here, saying that Freddie Anderson is still available, but Freddie Anderson is not here. Antti Rant is going to get sent down. Kotkachov is going to be the last guy standing, and the only guy standing. I've never seen an NHL team go through with a strategy like this, where you literally only have one goaltender on your active roster. The other guys that are here, it's literally Yaniv Perez. There isn't even a goaltender signed that is available in the AHL. This guy's playing in the ECHL. Let's go out there and look at him, actually. Yaniv Perez, and see what his entire scouting report's about. He's born in the year 2000. This guy is my age. Oh boy. Yeah, playing in the ECHL, he's fresh out of the NCAA. To be fair, he's been good in the ECHL and the NCAA, but you don't want to give this guy NHL minutes now. Not right away, at least. Right? That'd be even worse than any of the guys whom you're already playing and are pretty bad, admittedly, in net. This seems like such an inappropriate kind of call-up, but look, if the Carolina Hurricanes are going to do it, they're going to do what they're going to do. We're going to follow this story as it goes along, see what happens with the Hurricanes and their goaltending, because for now, it looks like they have absolutely no plan. Anti Ranta wasn't that bad when the Vancouver Canucks played off against him and Elias Pettersson had that three-point night. I mean, we did make the post-game video talking about how Pettersson came back from the dead and Anti Ranta was the guy who allowed that to happen, but for now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Carolina Hurricanes placing Anti Ranta, of all people, on waivers, and what this means for their overall strategy, since they don't have any other goaltenders under contract that actually seem like a viable option besides Pyotr Kotkachev. They need extra goaltending. So, is a trade in the works? Who's gonna claim Ranta? Is Ranta heading over to Edmonton? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I gotta get back to watching this Vancouver Canucks game because it's been on in my TV screen and it's weird making videos whilst the Canucks are playing. And bye.